Patty and Jeffrey's Final Goodbye, A Post-Apocalyptic Terror The world had changed dramatically since the apocalypse. Most of the population had died and the remaining survivors had to make due with whatever scraps they could scrounge. Jeffrey and Patty had managed to survive for the last few years since the end of the world, but had no real idea of what the future would hold. It had been a long time since either of them had seen another living soul, so when they stumbled across a small group of survivors in a nearby town it seemed like a miracle. A group of about a dozen people had managed to survive in a town that had been abandoned since the apocalypse began. The group was led by a man named George and he welcomed Jeffrey and Patty with open arms. He told them that they were the first visitors the survivors had had in a very long time. He was eager to hear any news they might have of what was going on in the world. Unfortunately, the news that Jeffrey and Patty brought was not good. It seemed the world was becoming an even more dangerous place. People were looting and killing each other in the streets and food supplies were scarce. George asked Jeffrey and Patty to stay with them and help them protect the town from any threats. Jeffrey and Patty agreed and they settled into the town and quickly found their place in the group. At first, there were no signs of trouble but soon strange things began happening around the town. People would hear noises in the night and sometimes they would catch glimpses of strange creatures lurking in the shadows. One night the townspeople heard an unearthly scream and the next morning, one of the townspeople was found dead in the street. Everyone assumed it was the work of a wild animal, but a search of the town revealed that something far more sinister was responsible. The creature had left a trail of destruction and death in its wake and the townspeople realized they were being hunted. They knew that whoever was behind the attacks had to be stopped and Jeffrey and Patty agreed to help. They searched the area and found a nearby cave filled with bones and strange symbols. After exploring the cave, they heard a deep growl coming from the entrance. The creature that had been stalking the town was revealed to be an abomination created by some dark power. The creature was a twisted hybrid of a man and an animal and it seemed to feed off the fear and despair of its victims. The creature lunged at Jeffrey and Patty but they managed to fight it off. As they looked around the cave they noticed that the walls were covered in symbols and Jeffrey realized that the abomination was being controlled by a powerful force from beyond this world. He knew the only way to stop the creature was to free the souls it had enslaved. After a heroic battle, Jeffrey and Patty managed to free the souls and the creature was destroyed. The townspeople were relieved that the creature was gone but the incident had left behind a chilling reminder that darkness and evil can still exist even after the apocalypse. Jeffrey and Patty decided it was best for them to move on and see what else the world had to offer. They said their goodbyes and left the town, never to look back. But they could never forget the horrors they had encountered and the memories of the horrifying abomination still haunt them to this day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.